if you want to jump in, bro, you got that mic right there. Ooh, ooh, Hopefully now I'm gonna look at it soon, but that shit for some reason it do be stopping her. But if I tell you just to look at it, let me know what's up. I might ask you. You see the second wire, the skinny one? I might ask you to pull that out carefully. You feel me? Welcome, 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 welcome. I had to use that energy right there. I had to use Dizzy Spade's energy. You know what I'm saying? It's good, cool. Man, with shit. <coughs> New Year's Eve. Sparked my favorite holiday of the year, but it doesn't feel like it. Man, it, feels... it don't feel like it? You don't hear them playing I that. I hear it now. I've been wondering where it was at. I don't hear no fucking yeah, reggae. Hopefully, y'all no don't hear that drums. shit in the video, man. You know what I, mean? I ain't seen the, I ain't seen the Alki outside yet. <laughs> it's nice out there, man. Like, I, I hope that's not airy. Like, for no, I hope it's good. I hope it's a good premonition, you know what I'm saying? The new year will be calm, collected, you know what I mean? Make some money in the new year, you know what I'm saying? Like I make some money tonight coming into the new year. I don't know, man. It's shit looking spooky. Yeah, that's a fact, man. But what's but, good? How you feeling, though? I'm good, man. I'm feeling all right. Feeling decent. Happy New Year to everybody that's watching, you know what I'm saying? This probably be out tonight or probably tomorrow. We see what's up. See how I'm feeling when we are done with it, you know what I mean? It should be tomorrow, though. Probably more than likely, but this the year in recap, man. How you felt about this year personally? Um, this year, I, 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 for me personally, I had a good year. Yeah, that's a fact. I had a great year, so I felt real good about 2022. Uh, I feel like it's a setup year. I, I think I said that previously. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's a setup year for even um, for the next two years. Uh, 23 and 24 uh, powerful years coming up yeah but uh this year was cool it was a lot of losses this year though we, we went over that um uh young and, and older but it seemed like uh a generation is moving on now yeah you know what i'm saying so we got a lot of that this year <clears throat> so i'll call 2022 a transitional year and um it was game we got back to some normalcy you know we was COVID-19 out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We just got a big loss. Like you were saying, we stay right there real quick. Uh, Barbara Walters just passed. What? Yeah, 95. And the Pope just passed. Who knew? God did. <laughs> and the Pope just passed at 94. The Pope? Yeah. Who's son? Uh, let me get his name. No, you know he been, what, the one that was the Pope now? Yeah. The one that looked like a Nazi? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> His eyes are dark. Pope though. Benedict, ninety-five. Mm, that's not him. That's not what I was And Barbara about. Walters was ninety-three. Barbara Walters passed away. Yes, sir. It's crazy because uh, Russell. When she passed away, when she passed away, when uh, she came on Channel Seven, I knew it was time to turn. It's crazy, right? What you mean by that? Like when uh, she was doing six, not sixty minutes. Uh, what was the name of that shit again? Channel Seven. The Barbara Walters show. Oh, that special on, shit. Yeah, and all that shit. The Barbara Walters on. special. And, and all then that she'll talk. I think it came on after like TGIF. So after TGIF, uh, Barbara Walters came on. And it was like, alright, it's time to get about there. Okay. You know, ain't no more family matters. Ain't no more uh, boy meets world on now. Barbara talking. So. This is crazy. Like I said, end of a generation, they were just moving on, man. Yeah, man. And then, like, all the deaths in hip-hop that we've been seeing. John Madden. John Madden passed away. PMB Rock. Yeah. Rest in peace to him. Uh, Takeoff. Most recent one, right? Take the off. most recent one was that. I don't, I, like I said, I didn't know anything of him. You heard of um, Big Skull, Giddy? He passed away, yeah. I don't know, I think he was like Memphis or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just passed away. That was like the most Shout out recent. Shut up to Giddy in the building, man. Oh, yeah, Giddy in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? Know, always lurking. Yeah, you know what I mean? Since day one, you know what I mean? We entering our always sixth year lurking. doing this shit. Always lurking. That's a fact, man. Um, we ain't even intro to shit. Welcome back to the Don Corn and D. Heavy Show. We are your hosts. Don Corn, man. 
and the highest hippie in the room, theory, and hippie, of course, man. This is episode 258, but this the year end recap for 2022. You know what I'm saying? It was a good year, man. I enjoyed it, man. I nah, I enjoyed this, this year, year a lot. I feel like I, I stepped out of my shell this year, and um, you, yeah, and I fucking like I practiced a lot of the business shit that I wanted to do, and they were successful. Some weren't, you know what I mean? But some were, and I feel like I just want to take that ball and just go with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, pause. You know what I mean? But balls, you know what I mean? Rather. Pause. You know what I mean? Just run with it. You know what I mean? Just keep doing what we doing. Um. Now you was outside this year. You see what I'm saying? You was outside this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a fact. You was outside man. moving around and shit. I'm Hit a couple states. You know what I'm saying? That's like, oh geez, look. A couple dates in a couple states. That's why I knew I had to go to Vegas when I ain't make it way. I was like, nah, I gotta go to Vegas, man. This now, yo, Giddy, I talked to you about Vegas when I went. But when I went out there, it was fucking that shit hit one. 30 out there, Giddy. Yeah. On the day of my birthday, bro, I was walking to the dispensary, bro. I was about to die, nigga. Because on the map, it's like, yo, it's right there. It's like a it's mile not. away, bro. That shit, bro, that it's strip not. is crazy long, bro. I see bro. what he's saying. It ain't even that, bro. Everything is just far away, bro. You see how, <laughs> yeah, you see how, that shit, you see how, like, we come out the peas, we walk the uh, uh, Myrtle. You just cross the street. We could Word. continue to just cross the street. Nah, bro, that shit got escalators at some of the cross. Yeah, walls. everything is Take just big for no reason. Nah, cause the cars is wild. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. now you in them. Now you done went from a sidewalk. Now you in a mall. You yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> shit is a different world. Damn, this shirt is thirteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Let me keep moving. Nah, that shit is dope, though. But like yeah. you said, yeah, I was definitely outside, man. Shout out to everybody that opened their arms to me. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all of y'all, man. Um, I want to give a big shout out to everybody that we had on the show this year as well. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. out to all of them. You know what I mean? Um, got the list right there. Uh, right to it. High etiquette. High etiquette. Gummy Bree. Mike Can't Dream. Mm-hmm. Dead Heart yeah. Freck. Third degree TV. Third. Yeah. Danny Dash. Danny Dash. That's my girl right there. Dolly, of course. Dolly, of course. You know what I'm saying. Envious. Envious. Dizzy. Uh, Chun Chun. That was the artist. She was like an artist. We have my guy Chino with the book. That yeah, was fire. fire. That was a fire episode. What was your What was like your favorite guest this year so far? Well, not so far, but who was your favorite guest? My favorite guest. It's tough. I would, I would probably say Chino, though. Chino? That one, because, yeah, that's a tough See, everybody, except for a few people, I have a personal relationship with. Yeah. Um, and a couple of them was, like, our mainstays that came and back. And if we didn't have, uh, um, if I didn't have a personal relationship with them, before we got to the interview, because I missed a few being out of town, running around like I was. Yeah. Um, we got to do like a little homework on them before they pulled up. With Chino, it was just he got a book. Yeah, it was. It was last. It's kind of. It was last minute together. thing, especially for you, like, cause I was already conversating with him and shit like that. And then when I told you you was like a book, I was like, yeah, bro, let's 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 get this interview. And you was like, ah, right, let's see what he got to talk about. But I already knew what he had to talk about because I was talking to him. You know what right, I'm saying? Right. And then when we was in the pink room, you was starting to talk to him, and you was like, oh nah, this is about to be a crazy interview. Yeah, I know it right from right there. Yeah, so yeah. Five minutes in the speaking to him, I'm like, oh nah, this is about to be up. So I would I would probably say that, but everybody was amazing, man. Um, shout out to Primo Bozo, T Hefe, Frost. I'll be in biz with those the guys, man. So I think my favorite one was probably third, yeah. just cause. I, and then it was again, it was like a one on one thing, cause you wasn't there for that one. But um, like her conversation was super dope, and she's like, <coughs> she's like, like not to say this about nobody else that was on the show, you know what I'm saying? But she's like one of them people that really work towards what she want. Yes, sir. And the the passion for that shit shows when she's talking for it. I you think. Know what I'm that's my favorite interview that you did. And I liked it because um, if she does an interview in our world, because she's in a battle rap coach, she, she owns the league now, like she even spoke about. Yeah. You know, had her first event, and she was a, a success and all that. But if she gets interviewed where we're at 
it's going to be predominantly bad rap. Yeah. You didn't take that angle with her, so I got to show her in a different way mm -hmm. as opposed to what we get to see from her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I love that shit. Yeah, I, I try. I tried to shit. talk about different shit that she had going on. Again, we was talking behind the scenes. I think my favorite interview that I did though this year was uh the one with R. B. and Bizzle, but it's it wasn't a visual interview. I did my first written article on him. Mm. And, yeah, you did. Yeah, that. so when he dropped um, "Slow Feet," "Slow Feet Don't Eat," we went Slow to the don't eat. yeah we went to the premiere. At the um, at beat dope, knockers, yeah. Dope ass. And I was talking yeah. to him throughout the night, and I was interviewing him, and I spoke to a couple people that was on the project, the um, the producers and listening, shit like that, yeah, and them. people that was listening to it and shit like that. So I think that was like my favorite one, cause then I got to write it out and shit like that, word it how I wanted to word it. I want to try to go into that more this year as well. There you go. Coming up. Shout out to all of them, yeah. Um. What, what was your favorite album this year? I didn't get, I remember I said I was going to get into that and I've just been busy with mad shit that I didn't even look. I remember, uh, I can remember Pusha album being crazy. Yeah. And just off the top of like thinking about albums and Pusha album coming to mind. It might be that. Pusha album was fire. What was your favorite album this year, Giddy? Say Young boy, nah. <laughs> you know, to the non-rapping music, <laughs> I thought I'd fuck a little baby album. Little All baby right. shit was tough. Little baby shit was tough. My shit, I liked. Um, I like Joey Badass album was tough. Two thousand was cool. tough. Um, but it's. I'm trying to think if there's something that really stands out. K Dot shit was tough this year. I like. Mr. Morale and the Big Stepper. Um, it was needed. It was needed. It was yeah. needed, but it died out. Even Game album was tough that he dropped. It, it died out fast. Even Game album was tough that he dropped. It's just that everything that came along with it, so it died down real fast. But Game album was tough. Um, Scissor shit was hard. I think this year kind of showed how fast music is being digested and then spit out. Yeah. Like, we don't even go back and listen to shit no more because something else is coming out. Yeah. That, and that's the thing about music right now, that it comes out so fast that you don't even It's too many artists. To we shit. ain't have it like this before. Like, you, the anticipation used to be there. Now it's like, nigga, if you don't drop, some about to drop three projects anyway, so. I, but I think, it, I, I mean, I understand what you're saying with, like, the amount. Mm-hmm. Of artists that there is now, because there is like at least ten times the amount that we grew up on. In you know each what region, and we even yeah, because we grew up in an era where it was a lot of rap going on. You know what I'm saying? From from cell phone ringtone rap to lyrical rap and everything in between. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think back then there was like a a quote unquote structure because of the labels. Labels. So you had like release dates and all this type of shit, and if you did go like a little to the left was that it was you still got quote unquote permission from them to do like a mixtape or some shit you know what I'm saying yeah. but now with the like independence where you don't really need a label like Russ go. Russ drops a new song every week yeah and he does that cause that's his marketing tool you know what I'm saying so that mode is old and broken so now the floodgates are open so it is difficult for you to like go back to an album that just came out last week and be like, yo, this is my song, this this song, this song, because there's two albums that came out the week after that shit that you yeah. like, oh shit, these Damn, two I albums. I ain't even listening to this. Son told me this was fire. Yo, hold on. Yeah. I'm not listening to this. Let me get to this. Yeah, like, I still take my time. I still, if I like an album, I listen to it for at least a week. I have to. Like you and I'll be me? able to be like, all right, this is dope. And I might come back to some of these songs. I'll be like, ah, oh, this is cool. Like, you don't even notice. Like, Drake dropped three times this year? Who didn't notice? Uh, but I don't, like you said, there wasn't a lot of talk behind his projects, except for the one with 21. Because it was a different... It was a sound... I wouldn't say a different sound, because uh, one of the projects he dropped, niggas ain't like none of that shit. Yeah. 
shit that I'm gonna still just and yeah. They do like yeah. That. Yeah, you put those yeah. two entities together, they they no, saw not that. I'm talking about the house music the house shit he music. did. Oh, oh, oh the uh, the last project he did by yeah, himself. Before, I think yeah, that was the last one he did. What before. was the title of that shit? <laughs> Bro, it's the house yeah, party uh, shit. Remember. The house music shit. That nobody claimed they like, but it Oh, the right. um, the um, <laughs> never mind <laughs> shit. <laughs> the <laughs> never mind <laughs> shit. He was yeah. like, "Fuck it." Yeah. The title was <laughs> like that. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what song that is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that album. Nah, that shit did do numbers. Yeah. But then that's like what you're saying. He finds those new waves that's coming into music. No, he's just jumping he, pockets. Yeah. He's the only one that does that. The smartest shit. He's and we was just talking about this in the last episode with the Kendrick um, conversation. That Drake was the one that like introduces new styles and shit. He just goes somewhere and find it. He's like, fucking it up for these rappers. Yeah. Oh, man. That's crazy. What else stands out to you from this year? Um... You got notes right here. If you could read my shit, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Cause my we shit went through a lot of it, like you said. Arrest, I didn't know k Flock ain't get arrested this year. He got arrested last year. k Flock got arrested last year? Yes, sir. On Christmas or some shit. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It was the end. I mean, but yeah. But it's this year. Still. I mean, yeah, a year. Yeah. Yeah. It could be in the uh, Uncle Murder wrap up. Young Thug, out of here. Oh, uh, Kelly. Don't outta say here. it like that. I'm just saying, bro. Damn, we a podcast, you know. bro. You see, uh, uh, two, two of the um, damn, I can't even read my own shit. Before we go, that's gonna, that's gonna, gonna, yeah. I don't know why you got him up there for arrest. Like he got arrested. So what? Snitch. Damn. Two of the, uh, you seen this shit, bro? Like two of the defendants in that case was like, nah, we're not taking the plea. Oh what? Fuck that. Stand up guys. We taking it to trial. Stand up guys. Going, if they convict him, though, that's fifth place. It is! Stand up guys. <laughs> he's getting with a smile. He's a no. Somebody, right today, though, they just posted. Somebody else snitched, though. <laughs> the plea bill he took shows Young Thug has one of the head honchos like supporting him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how they line they it up. Story, yeah, like, because yeah, even yeah. the other dude, they were saying. That's what they're uh, doing, though. They're going to let every last one of them out. They just and then want, they whoever want, they take it to They want him. Whoever we'll take it to trial. Yeah, they making him the fall guy, yeah. That's it. They just want to show you why. We're going to get this 300 years. Ever takes it to, ever takes it to trial. All the niggas that took pleas, that's why I, I keep trying to listen to what that judge saying. Yeah, you're going to be called back in the court. Be the fifth, though. If it incriminates you. <laughs> I, I rewind that shit a few. Not if it incriminates somebody else. You can plead the fifth if it incriminates yeah. yourself. Yeah, and that's why they saying that. What's that shit that gonna took? Yeah, 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 yeah. Back, back, back at it, back at it, back at it. All right, we was talking about um, Gunner and them. You yeah. said why I put him on the arrest list? Because <laughs> he snitched. Yeah, I'm just joking. Yeah, but there was plenty of them that got locked up this year. Sue Surf, mm-hmm. Mr. Pretty cool. Wave. They locked yeah. up both the waves locked up. Who? Both the waves, Max and Surf. Damn. That's crazy, man. But um Very let's long. hope that let's hope that everybody could go into the new year with clear minds, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to fade into that shit right there, cause everybody getting locked up for a Rico charge. We just saw the um who was that Source Walker's crew that got locked up for that mm-hmm. shit recently too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. But a lot of shit happened this year. We had Britney Garner get locked up for a vape pen. And she was locked up the whole year. The what whole you mean? year, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. But and she came on before Thanksgiving or some shit. After Thanksgiving. A little before Christmas, yeah. It, it wasn't yeah, before she had Thanksgiving. Up in February, right? Yeah. She yeah. got locked up in February. <clears throat> she spent the whole year in there. They basically she been home like a month. She been home the whole month. year. Yeah. Like in total. Yeah. And they already saying that the guy that they traded for her is already out here selling shit and doing shit. She was selling shit when he was locked up. That's that paper. That's when that paper. I couldn't see him. <laughs> he was selling shit when he was locked up. Yeah. Now it's just lit. What are you talking about? Joe Biden also disappeared for the whole year. Joe Biden ain't been seen since he won the election. 
Oh no, I'm lying. Did he fall up the stairs or some shit? He did a couple dumb shit early in he the He fell asleep in the interview. That's what happened and shit. Yeah, and he that? turned around to shake somebody's hand and they wasn't there type shit. I was like, what's up? <laughs> this nigga, bro. He is mad. Oh, Did you see that shit guy? though? I Which don't one? know. He was, doing an inter- he was doing an interview with someone and they was asking him a question and he just. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Out. That's, oh, that's, we're that's, fucking doomed. That's when Donald Trump was calling him Sleepy Joe. Yeah, it's nasty. <laughs> you gotta get him out of there. <laughs> he falling asleep during interviews. He fall asleep and press that button by mistake, it's over. Yeah. We had a lot of breakups this year. I don't care. Like, uh, yeah. Well, podcast world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't mean breakups like that. I mean, like, podcast world and we shit like that. We in the world. Um, remember, my expert opinion broke up. That was a nasty one. I am athlete broke up. That was a nasty one. You know what I'm saying? A couple things like that. Excuse me. Then we got to see the um, the slaughterhouse shit. Remember, they was trying to get back at everything. Uh, fucking uh, damn! Why I'm forgetting his name? Joel Ortiz and Crooked Eye. Mm-hmm. They tried to get it back. You know what I mean? But nothing was happening there. What's it gonna happen, Captain? <laughs> that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard case was big this year too. It seemed like that was probably the big, the, the most. Is covered there, story this year. Is there comparisons with that in the Tory and Meg case? Or that's different? Mm, that was his wife. That's different, yeah. Because that shit that he was going through was in the house type shit. We definitely had the Tory and Meg shit finally come to an end. Yeah. It took a year and a half, right? Yeah. It took, yeah, it took this whole year up. It almost, it probably was two years type they, shit. He sh- they, that shit happened last year. It ain't happened this year. It's crazy, bro. Basically snitched on himself, though, you know what I'm saying? Son gave up. All that, all those calls and all that shit. I don't know if he know. It says that this call is recorded, right? Before it does. You, it it before does. You it does out. say it. <laughs> it does say it in every state, county. I don't know about country, but definitely here, it says the, the call is being recorded. It's a call from Tory. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry, man. Yo, my nigga. <laughs> Bro. Bro, I was dead drunk. You know I wouldn't have done that shit if I wasn't drunk. But my nigga, he, talk, he talking to a girl. Man, yo, my nigga. <laughs> you know me, my nigga. <laughs> Damn, bro, you fucked up, bro. He was still drunk when he made that call. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the fucked up nobody, part. Yeah, I'm not letting nobody else. I, it was stupid as fuck. You know, I that was dumb. To but, that I, yeah, I can hear in his voice that he's still drunk and he panicking. Yeah, he's scared as shit. She I don't like, know why she like, in the Hollywood Hills. She like, like, you know, he, his team is, bro, you know, up. her team is going, he say, fuck that, the niggas can't. <laughs> <laughs> He said, yo, you got my bodyguard number? Nigga yeah. said, call the bodyguard. I said, what? wait. <laughs> wait, what? Oh, the For bodyguard. What? <laughs> Tell that nigga pick up, man. I need <laughs> the bodyguard? Bail you out. Oh, shit. Where you accounting at? Nigga, where your lawyers at? What we doing? It's time to step your game up because you about to get locked up for a very long time. So there's, all right, he gets, he's getting... Deported, right? They're going to deport this shit. They're going back. Bro. So what happens then? He spends jail time up there or? I listen, I, I'll say Cause this. Because I don't know I'll laws like this. that. I'll you know say this without saying any name. I know people that committed murders and just got deported back to their country. And living like kings, right? What? In their country. I don't know about kings, but they but been out. They ain't go to jail out there. <laughs> <laughs> Went to auntie crib. And been out there since. So I don't know, but I don't see them shit. If if he allows them to keep him here, he's a goddamn fool. I'm not a citizen of this fucking country. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Send me home. And Canada beat him, gave him probation. Damn, I was just telling this to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here, house arrest. 
there's a there's a lot of good, good musicians that we not going to hear none of their music. They're going to give they'll, they'll give them a pow pow for coming over here and making them look bad. Mm. You see how Aubrey comes over here. Talk right? about pow pows. We got the slap of the century this year. We got slap. Chris Rock. Yeah, that did happen, man. That happened this year? It's coming up on a year, right? That it happened? Because that was like... Uh, when does Oscars? the Oscars come on? I don't know. Don't ask me that. I just know it wasn't like in... I think the Oscars May. happens like in the summertime or some shit like that. No, like, I don't think it was in the summertime. I think it was like March. They smacked him early. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he definitely slapped him early. Fucked up the whole Serena Williams, called <clears throat> the movie shit. Yeah. I mean, he still got the Oscar for that. Yeah, it was tainted though. But he slapped the dog shit out of him. Yes, he did. Chris Rock is about to be live in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I hope he talks about it. I need to see it. You think he's going to talk about it? He has to talk about it. He's a comedian. Oh, these is a marrow split this year as well. That was crazy. One they still going at it too. You no, know, somebody that called us that. I said, I'm not <coughs> Spanish. Somebody called us these is a marrow? I said, I'm not Spanish, bro. He would say, yo, what? Oh, that, I, thought he, I thought he was black. No. Which one? The one they think is black. The one is black? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The boy's Spanish, too, bro. This is Spanish? You not have Spanish? No. Uh -huh. I think he's like Haitian or some okay. shit like that. Mero is Spanish. I know that's Spanish, but I, I think thought he's he Puerto Rican. Too. Nah, these is his uh, He from the Bronx, right? They both from the Bronx. But he's Spanish to me. Nah, I think you know he Haitian. I think he Haitian you know or some shit like you know, that. You, just, you gotta show me, <laughs> but if you, you up there in the Bronx, you dark skin, I don't know, bro. You might be Spanish. Yeah, I mean, I feel you, but I know that he's not Spanish. I'm telling you, he's not Spanish. <laughs> he's not Spanish. Okay. He's just from the Bronx, so that's the first thing that you gotta. Alright, uh, you black or. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause it's a lot of dip with dabbling up there. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Means me dark as hell, and they malls. Be was the Deshaun, malls was the Deshaun Watson shit this year? The Deshaun Watson shit was for two years. He just came back this year. It's just that he came back this year, right? Mm -hmm. That's crazy, bro. Now it's crazy to see all of hey, did it. The Alex Jones shit happened though. He got to pay like a billy. To those people that he lied to. He ain't got it. He gonna slit his wrist. He gonna slit his wrist, wrist or wrist. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Um, Yo, shout out to, um, shout yeah. out to fucking BMF, man. The yeah, show? Uh, the whole. The whole shit? The whole shit. Why you say that? Because <coughs> to see it like reborn again. Mm hmm. This year, in the form of entertainment, yeah, like what he was striving for at the end, he just did it wrong. Mm -hmm. He did that. And that's the one aspect of his life he did wrong. Yeah, moving into rap, but um, seeing how they doing with just like the show, and um, I'm watching a documentary now. I'm up to like, I think the ep third episode. Yeah. Shit is amazing, man. I told you. Shit is Time amazing. I think that's my favorite. Uh, it been, it been that, but just to see it more in depth. First of all, that's the best documentary I've watched. Okay. In a long time, and a lot of dope shit came out this year. We had the Supreme Team. We had uh, the Tim Donahue story. That was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, um, all those shits was hard on Netflix. The ones that was like with that yeah, yeah, yeah. series. I'm trying to think of what else it was. That's why I, I can't say. I fuck with, I fuck with the doc, documentaries. The docs this year was going crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, last Dance wasn't this year, was it? No, that was last year. That was last year. But uh, this BMF joint, man. Um, Meech is... The fuck it. I don't know, bro. I don't know. What yeah, guy, Black Pablo who the, Escobar. Who the f yeah. That's yeah, what they call it. I mean, Pablo, Pablo established both, yeah, his power official. through yeah. murder. 
through blood. Yeah, 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 yeah. His thing was more like he watched family. all that shit and knew what he needed to do. Mm-hmm. And see that shit and just like yeah, still being able to reap up for now, man. That shit is crazy to me. I don't know. Nah, I understand what you're saying. Uh, the legacy that he left behind to be one of those uh, it's still gone top drug dealers in America type shit because that's what America fi- fantasizes over you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying is the bad guy you know what I mean the quote unquote bad guy you know what I'm saying yeah. but um and if for it to be modern times and literally he almost lasted like 30 years bro like um, he was doing that shit since the 80s and got caught in the early 2000s that shit is crazy mid 2000s yeah, that shit is crazy town. Like the the time length of it. Almost thirty years. Yeah. Yeah, the 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 time length years. of the, what he was doing is crazy, and um, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with you. Like, where you said getting into music was probably the downfall. Mm-hmm. Um. No, I said the one thing he was did probably that, that he you did think he did wrong. wrong. Okay. Like everything else, the way he was moving, he did right. Like yeah, yeah, because he, he traveled was, from state to state. Um, <clears throat> let me just make this a nice announcement, short and sweet. Uh, we having technical difficulties, so um, I wanted to give y'all a better episode, but it looks like it's fucking with me right now. So uh, <laughs> or not fucking. With yeah, us. I don't know. So I'm just gonna try to keep a positive mindset. You know what I'm saying? We just gonna close the episode out, but end of year. Yeah, and a year. So I just wanted to touch on some numbers that I got from our um shit. Um, we did almost like eighty episodes this year. We got close to like ten thousand views, thirty thousand total views, like views and stuff like that. We got like sixty subscribers. You know what I'm saying? We want to say thank you to everybody that hit that subscribe subscribe button, nice. left a comment on every every episode that y'all left a comment on i'm sorry my mind is totally somewhere else right now i'm really frustrated <laughs> um pick it up kids yeah thank you to everybody you know what i'm saying so um shout out to everybody and let's go into the new year strong and double all these numbers you know what i'm saying um a lot of shit happened this year like core said a lot of successful shit you know what i mean yeah. couple failures here and there you know what i'm saying but you know, you keep the ball rolling, you know what I mean? So, um, you got anything that you want to give to the people, Cole, before we get out of here? Uh, you gave them mostly everything. I just appreciate the same as what Nacho just saying. And uh, hoping for continued uh, success and great health for all our watchers, viewers, listeners, and subscribers, man. Let's keep it ball wa- rolling after the ball drops. 2023, it's going to be an amazing year, man. Yeah, man. Happy New Year's to everybody, man. And, and to those we lost this year, uh, yeah, you'll forever be in our, our your loved ones' hearts and uh, memories. We live memories, and we live through y'all. Y'all live through us until we meet again. That's a fact, man. So, um, one more time for 2022 for Don Cole is Derek and Hippie. Y'all already Yo. know we about to do. We about to get up out of here. And we'll see I'm you guys high. real, real soon, I'm man. High. A lot of new content coming you guys' way, man. Mm-hmm. Make sure you follow everything Don Cole and D-Week and Hippie, and we'll be back at y'all in 2023. We out.